ever pondered what's on your plate, how much of it is processed food and how much is whole food, and do you know the difference between the two? In this video we will delve into the world of both processed and whole foods. We will learn how to balance our plate with a mixture of both in order to match our circumstances and get maximum benefits to our health and nutrition. We will also debunk some myths about processed foods and whole foods. Let's dive in. Processed foods are those that have been altered in some way from their natural state. They've been canned, cooked, frozen, packaged, or have had their nutritional composition changed. Think of canned vegetables, snacks, and ready-to-eat meals. But remember, not all processed foods are created equal. Some are lightly processed while others are heavily processed. On the other side of the spectrum, we have whole foods. These are the foods consumed in their unadulterated state. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and seeds are all classic examples of whole foods. They are packed with essential nutrients including vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Now, let's draw a nutritional comparison. Processed foods often contain added sugars, salts, and fats. They are more calorically dense but less nutritionally rich. They might also contain preservatives, colorings, flavorings, and other chemical additives. Whole foods, on the other hand, provide a smorgasbord of essential nutrients. They are rich in dietary fiber, which is often lost in the processing of foods. But it's not all doom and gloom for processed foods. Some are fortified with essential nutrients, helping to counterbalance nutritional deficiencies. They offer convenience for those with busy schedules and processing methods like pasteurization can reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses. The essential element here is all about balance. Understanding the nutritional implications of both processed and whole foods aids in making informed dietary choices. But in order for us to make the best choices we need to inform ourselves about some common myths and misconceptions surrounding both processed foods and whole foods. What will the choice be? Will it be a balanced mix of processed and whole foods? Or will it be strictly whole foods? The choice is yours to make. In this part of our exploration, let's dive into some common myths and misconceptions about processed and whole foods. The world of food is an intricate labyrinth of choices, and understanding the difference between processed and whole foods is a critical step to deciphering it. Now the first myth we must confront is the idea that all processed foods are inherently unhealthy. This is a generalization that fails to consider the nuanced reality of food processing. The truth is, the level and nature of the processing play a significant role in determining the health value of a food product. An excellent example of this is the case of frozen vegetables. While they are technically classified as processed foods because they undergo a freezing process, they retain most of their nutritional value. Thus, they can be a healthy choice alongside fresh options. Furthermore, the term processed foods covers a wide spectrum of products from harmful ones like high sugar sodas to healthier choices like whole grain bread. The key is to differentiate and understand that not all processed foods are created equal, and some can indeed be a part of a balanced diet. The second myth we must dismantle is the assumption that whole foods are always the superior health choice, irrespective of the circumstances. While it's true that whole foods are usually healthier, there are situations where processed foods can provide certain benefits. A classic example of this is fortified foods. Foods fortified with essential nutrients like vitamin D in milk or iron in cereals can help fill nutritional gaps in our diet. Especially for those who may struggle to get these nutrients through other sources, these fortified foods can be a lifeline. Moreover, we must examine the common belief that equates processed foods with junk food. This is a sweeping statement that isn't necessarily accurate. The term processed foods includes a wide array of products from junk food like chips and candy to healthier options like canned beans and tofu. Hence, it's essential to differentiate between these types of processed foods and not paint them all with the same brush. Another myth that we often encounter is the perception that a diet rich in whole foods is pricier compared to one that includes processed foods. While it's true that certain whole foods can be expensive, there are plenty of affordable options too. Foods like beans, grains, and seasonal produce can often be purchased economically, making a whole foods diet accessible to all. Moreover, the term organic often gets misconstrued. Just because a food product is labeled organic doesn't necessarily mean it's whole or not processed. Organic foods can also undergo processing and can contain added sugars or fats. Thus, it's crucial to read labels carefully and understand what you're consuming, regardless of the organic label. And then, we have the myth that whole foods don't taste as good as processed ones. 
proper seasoning, creative recipes, and good cooking techniques can make whole foods delightfully flavorful and satisfying. The concept that healthy food is bland or boring is outdated, and doesn't hold up when faced with the culinary possibilities of whole foods. Having dispelled these myths and misconceptions, we can now discuss how to transition towards a diet that is richer in whole foods. Transitioning can be a significant change for your health and well-being. Start by incorporating more fresh produce and whole grains into your meals gradually. Tackle challenges such as time constraints and budget considerations strategically, and don't be disheartened by initial difficulties. Consider meal planning and batch cooking as ways to save both time and money. Explore new recipes, be creative with your cooking, and remember, healthy eating doesn't have to be a chore. With a lot of careful planning and a lot of enthusiasm, you can successfully navigate your journey towards a healthier diet. Did you know that artificial intelligence AI can be a valuable tool for helping you to make these decisions and simplifying your nutrition planning? This journey isn't just about understanding the nutritional differences between processed and whole foods, it's about making empowered dietary choices that improve your health and vitality. Embrace this knowledge, make informed decisions about your food, and remember, a balanced, nutrient-rich diet is the ultimate goal. Remember, understanding the nutritional divide between processed and whole foods is more than an academic exercise. It's a fundamental aspect of making empowered dietary choices. Strive for a balanced, nutrient-rich diet. Embrace this knowledge to navigate the complex world of food choices, tailoring your diet to foster health, vitality, and a deep sense of well-being. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Your journey towards a healthier lifestyle doesn't have to be a lonely one. We invite you to share your experiences with whole foods versus processed foods in the comments section below. Have you discovered a new favorite whole food recipe? Or perhaps you found a healthier alternative to your favorite processed food? Let's create a community that learns and grows together. Moreover, if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, consider liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Spreading awareness about healthier food choices is a small step towards a healthier community. To stay updated with our latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We have a plethora of more informative and engaging videos lined up for you. And remember, your health is your wealth. Stay informed, stay healthy, and let's continue this journey towards wellness together. Until next time, take care.